Well, I think demonstrations themselves, I still think, are, are really important. They're really important because lots of people across the country who want to show their anger um, won't basically get involved beyond demonstrations, just not for them. And if you want to ensure the biggest number of people on the streets, then standard demonstrations have to be a part of that. But of course, it's not either or, because the argument against that, as people... You know, I go to schools now and talk to young people, I often do talks in schools, and these are kids who were six, seven, eight years old when the Iraq war began, but they will still say back to me, hang on a minute, how if they defied too many people on the streets in 2003, is there anything we're going to be able to do politically to change the situation we're in? And these are people who are aware that their future, they're going to be worse off than their parents. They face a future of debt and insecurity, of ever declining living standards, of not being able to get an affordable home, of you know everything from workfare schemes to zero hour contracts. And yet they have a sense of despair and they talk about a demonstration they weren't even on as a reason for why they can't get politically active. When the coalition came to power, there was a sense that the British aren't like the hot headed Greeks and French almost. They won't come out on the streets, they won't fight back, they won't organise. And what proved that wrong was the students in November 2010. And it was predicted when that demonstration was called, following the trebling of tuition fees and the scrapping of the educational maintenance allowance for poor students, it was predicted about 20,000 to 30,000 people would turn up. Westminster today during a mass demonstration against plans to increase university tuition fees. 52,000 people turned up. And people there, for many people, those young people, probably most of them had never been on a demonstration. And they were aware of their own potential power for the first time. And you had the occupation of Millbank, which became kind of iconic and caused a huge stir. And what that did is became the launch pad for a whole wave of occupations and acts of direct action. There were dozens of campuses right across the country who did that. And that was a real kickstarter for others because trade unionists looked at them and thought, hang on a minute, if these young people can take part in these sorts of protests and, and swell in these numbers and occupy and all the rest of it, then we should learn from what they've done. So that was really what began any sort of resistance to what the coalition's done and austerity in this country. It was the direct action of young people and that was something I was very proud to be part of.